Very good morning. How are you doing today? My name is Melads Milo, aka Fula. And in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, let me start with this shocking story. In Uganda, we have started experiencing what we have been hearing in the Arab countries. Apparently, there is a story of a gentleman called Muhammad Kabanda whose kidney was harvested by doctors at Old Kampala Hospital a couple of weeks ago. Now, Kabanda says he got involved in a border border accident and sustained injuries on the forehead that required an operation at 3.35 million. <laughs> But when the operation was done, he was shocked to discover that he had a fresh cut on the left side of his abdomen, which could not be explained well by doctors. And then two ultrasound scans were done at Malcolm, Mango and Mulago Hospital and the reports confirmed that the kidney had been extracted. Now, Kampala Lord Mayor Elias Lukwago says this matter has already been reported to police. Shockingly, Lord Mayor also revealed that he has other three cases in court of the same type. Well, I can't believe this is happening in Uganda. You know, these are stories we have been hearing in the Arab countries like Saudi Arabia. I didn't know Ugandan doctors would be that heartless to fellow Ugandans. But anyway, since the matter is already reported, we hope that uh, the victim, Muhammad Kabanda, gets justice. Now, the 32 supporters of NUP were yesterday denied bail. They have spent more than a year and a half in detention. Now, the military court claimed that the sureties, most of whom are family members and not substantial, has unable to prevail over the suspects. This court declines to grant bail to the applicants and the application is hereby dismissed. We saw rule done at marking the 11th day of October 2022 under my hand and seal of this court. 
Now, relatives of the detained suspects cried out to the court martial officials, but all in vain. <laughs> Now, NUP Secretary General Luis Rubongoya, who was present at the time, condemned the court martial for denying them bail. Now, <laughs> You cannot listen to such cries and you remain the same. It's very painful. Oh, so bad. Now, the Minister of Health, Dr. Jane Ruth Acheng, has confirmed Ebola case in Kampala. The case was admitted at Kirudu Hospital, where he eventually died. We had a case that moved through to Kampala and unfortunately died in Kirudu Hospital. Uh, that was on the 7th Seven. Seven. and was buried in Mubende. So far, the Ministry of Health has spent over 2 billion shillings in the fight against Ebola disease. Meanwhile, some Ugandans on social media are still not believing that Ebola is real. You see that guy in that video? Yes, that guy is Ebola patient. What you see down there is blood. So you guys, I think we need to be very careful. Now, finally, Pastor Bujingo's wife, Susan Makula, recently revealed that their prayer as a couple is that they both die on the same day and at the age of 120 years. <laughs> Yanzala ali 50 years. Yanzala wa miaka atano. Ganecha <laughs> mulwisa. Yasoka kubera mubichira. Katondo no na yonka mu sister. Wa yonka mu sister. Twasaba mukama 12 cha abantu wa atatu twale babiri. <laughs> Love is a beautiful thing and uh, you know right here on the buzz UG we wish them all the best. There you go. That is the latest update I have for you this morning on the Buzz UG. And uh, in case you have anything on your mind, just put it down in the comment section. And uh, don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fula. It's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.